So in the last video, we had a look at how to motion track 2D text. This time we're gonna take a look at how to motion track video and pictures as well. So this is a little animation that I put together in After Effects using the plugin Saber. And it's just pretty much a little animation behind the text. Just like always, we're going to drag this into Sony Vegas and I'm not gonna need the audio. So I'm gonna press U on my keyboard and then delete and then delete the audio layer as well. I'm going to right click on it and then go down to properties and disable resample. I'm also going to turn down the opacity to 50% and then I'm going to get a brightness and contrast. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to create yourself two video tracks. Once you've created yourself two video tracks, you want to import your video and you also want to import your picture if you're going to use a picture. Now I'm going to do it both just to show you an example. So I'm going to drag this all the way to here and then I'm going to mute both of them. What you want to do now is you want to go to the video effects and then go all the way up to Bezier masking. Once you've got it open, you pretty much want to left click and drag it onto your video. So the key to this is what I found is the smaller you make this, the more accurate it'll be. I was messing around for a little bit trying to do it like this where I get the whole of the vehicle in the picture, but it turns out if you just simply drag the corners in and make it a lot smaller, it is more accurate and it's easier to track what it is that it's looking at. If you wanted to make it visible so you can see the background, you can pretty much make the blend on a thousand and then that makes it visible. Those ones are more for 3D tracking, but at the moment the 3D tracking isn't the best with Sony Vegas. So for the time being, we're going to 2D track. So next up we have keyframe interval. In between each one, there'll be five frames in between. If you want it to be even more accurate, you can go all the way down to one and that will make it so it's every single frame it is placed in a keyframe. You want to pretty much set it somewhere on the object where it will keep track of it and it will always be in the shot. And now that I'm happy with everything, I'm going to go ahead and press start. This will start to create all these keyframes at the bottom, as you can see right down here. Now that it's done, we can have a little preview and see if it did a good job or not. And from this preview, as you can see, it has done a really good job of keeping track of where the vehicle is. As you can see throughout the whole video, it's kept a track of the vehicle. Now, if yours struggles, you can always split this into two. So you can pretty much split it into different segments. If you want to, that works just the same. The only problem with that is you will need to remember between each frames where the last location was. So for example, when it goes from one clip to another, you will need to know the position of the last keyframe. So now that we've done that, we're going to start off with the video first. So if we unmute it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the composition mode and set this to add. This will remove the black background and I am also going to go to brightness and contrast. And in here, I am going to get myself a default one, drag it onto the video, and then simply put the contrast on 800. And this just pretty much makes it so the whiteness is gone. Now that you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go back to your video effects and then go down to where you have a effect called picture in picture. With Sony Vegas Pro 16 and 17, this is new, so you should have it by default and it is the first one. You wanna get yourself the first one and then drag it into your video. You need to make sure that you do this, otherwise you won't be able to motion track it. Now that you've done that, you want to move this over to where you want it to go. So I am going to put it right above the vehicle, right about here. And then I'm going to close this down. I'm going to unhide the wheel. Same again, drag the picture in picture and then rescale it to what you prefer. So I want to have it right about here in front of the text and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So now that we've done that, all we're going to do now is the easy part. We've got to copy the keyframes over from the main layer over to these two. To do that, all you've got to do is click on your bottom one or your video, go all the way to the start. You want to hold shift and then select them all. Once you've selected them all, you want to go to tools and then go down to scripting. In here, by default, you should have one that says copy PIP, which is copy picture in picture. Now, if you don't have it in here, don't worry about it. For me, it is in extensions. So this should be something called copy motion track to 
pip or picture in picture. You pretty much want to left click on it and then it'll come up with a message saying done with copy and motion data from mask one. And that means it's pretty much done. So if we quickly preview this. About to go down. And that is pretty much it. So if you wanted to, you can add yourself a nice little fade at the end. So that fades out and then so does this one. And yeah, that is how you motion track videos and pictures. Let me know if this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and I have other Sony Vegas Pro videos on my channel. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.